All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good Monday morning, man. It is day two of uh, our Q4 full throttle training. Had a great night last night with our welcome aboard brief. We have a big week ahead, man. Big, 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 big Fed meeting. Uh, so a lot to talk about. Not going to get into it immediately right off the bat. Let's just get uh, everybody in here. Welcome aboard. Uh, yeah, Daniel. Uh, uh, Daniel's saying, hey, thanks for uh, talking about the psychedelics. There was something. Let me read that. I need my glasses. Thanks for sharing psychedelics. Was on a major network yesterday and most impressive too. Daniel, it's, well, here we are in the West pretending like, oh my gosh, we discovered this and it's good for healing. You know, a medicine woman in the middle of the Amazons, like, uh, where you all been? So we're, we're, we're late to the party, so to speak. Great news on MDMA last week with the phase three trials from MAPS. Second phase three trials did better than the last phase three trials. The first phase three trials with MAPS in their MDMA protocol, 67% of people who took MDMA and went through the MAPS protocol showed, and they had significant major PTS. Matter of fact, it was diagnosed as non-treatable, which to a political science major like me means you can't, they're, they're beyond help. They've tried all the medications. 67% after going through the protocol show zero PTS, clinically healed. This round of phase three trials, it went up to 71%. So last uh, Friday, I did uh, my podcast episode 72 with Rachel Neuer. My book is sitting over there. It's called I Feel Love. That podcast dropped tomorrow. She's the author of I Feel Love. And uh, I, I, we, we take a deep dive. So the FDA... I saw a news report today. Good news. MDMA should be legal for therapeutic use in 2024. We're losing on average 22 to 44 veterans every day. And you're telling me the FDA is going to take another year to approve it? It's an absolute disgrace. We can bust our ass for Ukraine, can't we? We can jump through our ass to make shit happen, to send money to another country to kill people. But our, we're, we're dying at home, and the FDA is dragging their ass. It was legal for therapeutic use in the past, folks. Some unelected bureaucrat in the Reagan in, administration with the stroke of a pen. People are having fun on it. You can't have fun in America. It's like Dean Wormer from Animal House. So, you know, I've used this analogy before. People in Washington, whenever there's a mass shooting, some people in Washington froth at the mouth and say what? We have to ban guns because if banning guns can save just one life, look at the dictator in New Mexico. I'm, I'm banning guns with the stroke of a pen. I'm suspending the Constitution. Why? Well, if it saves just one life, oh, oh, oh. How about we delete that and put in veterans? If this MDMA can save just one veteran's life, wouldn't it be worth it? But of course, we're not, you know, we're not a big enough demographic for them to give a shit about. Another $24 billion to Ukraine with Zelensky coming trick-or-treating uh, to, and to get more money as veterans are dying. Sorry, didn't mean to start with that rant, but I appreciate the psychedelics question. Obviously, I'm very passionate about trading and training, but I'm equally as passionate about saving uh, veterans and first responders. When I get a text or an email after a retreat or I'm on a retreat and somebody looks at me and says, Wiz, I, I, I don't want to kill myself anymore. Boom. Boom. That'll, that'll get your attention. All right, let's get airborne, man. I'm excited. Q4, full throttle, a uh, full week of training and trading here at Top Gun Options. I just gave you or maybe I didn't, the replay page. If you weren't here last night, you missed it. Uh, but don't worry, everything's recorded. Everything will be posted on this replay page. Make sure you check it out because I know a lot of people, I think uh, Anka, uh, one of our strategic partners, mailed this morning and a bunch of new people in here. And you're probably like, I have no idea who this guy is. Uh, so find out who I am last night in the replay. What we do here at Top Gun Options, my methodology, you probably didn't expect to start a live trade brief talking about psychedelics. <laughs> so... Exactly, Christine. The vaccine was approved without research, but we're going to jump through our ass while veterans are dying uh, on something that was already approved. But, you know, Nancy Reagan, war on drugs, knee jerk reaction. 
uh, don't get me started. Okay. Anyway, there's the replay. You got to watch it uh, to get up to speed with who I am, what Topkin Options is all about. Mission objective for the week. I'm going to show you how we're going to profit while others are panicking. We got we got some serious incoming uh, volatility uh, in this quarter. It's going to be initially volatile, maybe market pullback with the government shutdown, hopefully, and then uh, maybe a Santa Claus rally. We'll see. Uh, and obviously, as we go through our live trade briefs this week, I'm going to show you uh, our proprietary trading methodology and risk management process with actionable trades. If you logged in early, like I tell everybody to do, if you see my screen moving around and me doing stuff, that's me showing you what I do before a brief. We start right on time uh, to the Naval Observatory clock. Uh, but if you logged in a little bit early, you saw me fire a sniper trade, a bull put spread down there at uh, 44.35 or something like that. That's looking pretty good as we get back up to 44.50. Uh, Last week, we had like the battle at 44.50. So we have a sniper trade working right now. So uh, and looking pretty good as we we're getting back up there. Quick review of the flight schedule last night. Welcome aboard brief. Uh, and uh, this morning is the weekly options brief, primary brief tomorrow at 10. Uh, Tuesday night, I'm going to give you a sample full throttle training. There's eight full throttle trainings I'm going to give you. I haven't picked yet. I'm going to pull one of the, the modules out and show you what it would look like if you're going through our training. And then Wednesday, we're going to shut the, well, we'll do an accelerated retirement brief. And then uh, we'll be done, man. We close the doors and I'll see you you know, Q1 if you don't join. Not a smart idea if you don't join. Same link to get into the room every brief. Uh, covered this last night, but real quick reminder, we're over $600,000 a year to date in profitable trades. Boom. Uh, we uh, Four people uh, joined last night as I was talking. That's really strong out of the gate. Uh, all you see those, all those annual sales, a couple, one person bought a quarterly sale. There was a monthly sale, but the annuals are going folks. And then this morning, three other people bought annuals. I took that screenshot last night. So these memberships are going, we will close at 50. And if you're not one of them, we'll see, uh, we'll see you next time. Um, we just a quick reminder, hedge funds suck. You don't want to be in a hedge fund because they suck period. They're not good. Look at year to date. 5%. I'm going to let that sink in 5%. Hell, you can get 5% in a money market fund. How are we doing here at Topkin Options? Boom, 65%. That's the out, one of my average portfolios, but I'm showing you my, my personal one, not just the Topkin Options model portfolios, because I'll always show you what I'm doing uh, in my personal accounts in the background. I don't lead with this stuff because I'm not giving you individual investment advice. I'll show you my personal accounts, but in the training side, I post all my trades, my personal trades in the investment clubs. That's we, we have what we call a Chinese wall in between the training and execution arms. But I am double. I'm blowing away the NASDAQ year to date, right? Every, you know, you watch CNBC and all the, the smart money, right? Like, oh, the, the NASDAQ's like the best performing thing ever. And I'm like, or you could be here. Did you notice in the past month and a half to two months, what did my portfolio do? It went straight up as what happened? this happened. Everybody's a genius when the market's going up. No, not really. The only true geniuses are when the market goes down and you can make money. That's why you are here. I'm going to teach you how to make money uh, up, down, or sideways. Uh, and we're looking like we can get a little potential uh, sideways here uh, with everything that's going on. Clown car in Washington uh, does not look like it's going to avert some sort of crisis or shutdown. All right, let's get airborne. SOT, Strategic Operational Tactical. Let's start with this. How embarrassing. So lost a, 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 a guy I, I had met before out in Reno. Two T6s crashed. They had a midair in the landing pattern. Um, awful. Fatality on the last day at Reno last year too, man. And then these two guys had a midair. Brutal. And they both were killed. And then... An F-35, a Marine Corps F-35 out of the rag in uh, in Beaufort. Uh, my buddy Shrek, he's a Topkin Options member. He went through the F-35 rag up there. We lost an F-35. Like, literally lost it. The guy ejected, and he's uh, he's okay. He walked to a house and said, hey, can, you, can I borrow your phone? Um, $160 million, um, you know. Uh, Lewis, the quarterly rate is a little bit of a discount but you do not get access to the investment club. Warning Will Robinson. That's why you should not do a quarterly. 
So I wouldn't do, don't do a quarterly. If you want access to the hunters investment club, if you do the quarterly, you're not, you're not getting that. So I forgot to say that last night. I hope that dude, whoever joined the quarterly knows he's not getting the investment club. So don't, don't do that one. Or I can give you a quarterly Lewis that has the investment club and it's like 797 bucks. So go, go with the annual. Don't do the, don't do the quarterly. If you want the investment club, I'm glad you asked that. But anyway, can't find an F 35 your United States government folks. I can't stand young people who ha own the Twitter accounts, like the U S Navy Twitter account for pride month, you know, puts like a gay pride flag. I'm like, I'm fairly certain we have a flag. It's the flag of the United States of America. It represents all sexes, races, religions, you name it, sexual preference. It's awful. But here's the Joint Base Charleston Twitter account. We're working uh, with Marine Corps Air Station Buford to locate an F-35 that was involved in a mishap. Pilot ejected safely. If you have information that can help us find the jet, call our number. W what? A hundred and sixty million dollar jet. Fairly certain that the F-18s that I flew, it had a deployable in-flight recorder. Like when you crashed, that thing uh, popped out of the airplane. But anyway, uh, speaking of Zelensky, um, all the weapons, everything we've been dumping in there, we're supposed to have a breakthrough, a counteroffensive failed. It was supposed to be in the spring failed. It was supposed to be in the summer failed. Now what's happening? Shitty weather, folks. Yikes. Now it's going to get muddy, and then it freezes, and then it's World War I uh, trench warfare. Um, un it's exactly, it's stealth. That's why they can't find it. Hey, real quick, again, uh, if I'm seeing trades, we do them. There's a nice run in the SPX. If you're looking, uh, let's just keep an eye in the back on our sniper trade. If we can get out for a nice little profit. I don't know why it takes forever for the um, my charts to load on E-Trade here. See, look, nice solid pop. Let's see if there's any premium. Let's see if it's uh, working better in my personal account here. There we go. Uh, what did we get filled at? $1.40. It's at 55 cents. Close this trade. Where is it? And I'm going to sit here again with the spinning wheel of justice. SPX has had a monster run since I put on the bull put spread. Let's close it. SPX. Right here. Look at this. 50%, 1200 bucks, folks. Close. All right. I'll try and get 60 cents. That's a 50%, $1,200 profit in this trade in 20 minutes. There's 1000 bucks, folks. I just paid for five months of your full throttle training live. Boom. When did I put this trade on? 949 I put this trade on. It's 1013. What's that? 20, 30 minutes? So this is the lifetime group. Uh 50% flash twelve hundred bucks. Twelve hundred bucks. Three, five, yeah. Five months. Five months of your full throttle training just paid for. Boom. All right, back to work. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, the, um, the, uh, I, I just, uh, I'm not even going to waste a lot of time on this Ukraine thing. Whenever I brief, brief the UK, Ukraine thing, it would be simple for me just to go, it's going to get worse. So, we're dumping more money, tanks, F-16s. Uh, Russia ain't going anywhere. Vladimir Putin's a war criminal, should be arrested, and if he's convicted, executed. Having said that, get in a room, fellas. Talk for a couple days. And if you can't figure it out, go back to killing each other. <clears throat> but in this country, I'm a traitor. I pissed red, white, and blue for my entire life, but I'm a traitor if I, if I recommend, can we, like, talk peace? It's one of the benefits of psychedelic assisted therapy. Maybe you turn warriors into peacemakers. I see souls. I see life. And people frothing at the mouth about war and we need to do this, that, and the others are usually fat people sitting on the couch eating Cheetos and their keyboard warriors who never wore a uniform. 
you think our kid, the, the, the elites, the politicians, and the and the rich people, the Jeff Bezos and all those people, their kids are joining the military? No, it's ridiculous. Exactly, it's not even a NATO country, folks. If we're doing this for a country that ain't NATO, what's the point of NATO? Isn't everybody NATO? China uh, didn't attend the G20 a couple weeks. Yeah, exactly. The jet's on its way to Ukraine. Uh, Xi Jinping blew off the G20 and said, you know, we're we're doing our own thing. The BRICS: Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Uh, it's they're 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 doing their own thing, folks. The 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 dollar's not worth the paper it's printed on. We're becoming a not becoming. We are a failed republic. Look at the fall of the Roman Empire. We're it. Tax people into oblivion. We're in debt. We can't get out of debt by even taxing us even more. We're losing overseas wars. We're the political strife at home. You just you you map out everything of how republics fail, and we're doing it. And it's the rise of China, ladies and gentlemen. You want to be bullish long term on something? You'd be bullish long term uh, on China. It's all breaking news this morning that five United States citizens were returned for six billion dollars to a regime that screams death to America and kills Americans. General Soleimani, who Donald Trump turned into hair, teeth, and eyeballs with a drone strike, and the Democrats cried like, oh my God, we can't, I can't believe you did that. He's the world's number one terrorist. He's on our kill list. We killed him. And you guys like want to go to the guy's funeral. He killed 608 Marines and soldiers in Iraq. And you had a problem with Trump doing a drone strike on that guy. Makes sense. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see what happened? I wrote this story last week. Did I post this on here? Where was it? Oh, yeah, I posted this in the Max Afterburner group. They just announced a massive deal with Russia to make thousands of drones to kill Ukrainians. So we just paid $6 billion. Yay for the, the Americans and their families that they're coming home. Boo for the rest of the world. Now you just put a market. It's $1 billion per American. But anyway, they just announced yesterday, I'm sitting on the couch, uh, a big drone deal with Russia. So they're using the $6 billion to, to make drones for Russia to kill more Ukrainians, which means Zelensky is going to come over for more money. So we're giving $6 billion to our enemies so they can... It, did, I, did, do you get this? Unbelievable, folks. It makes me physically ill. All right, Operational. Let's start getting, let's peel back the onion and let's go operational here in the United States. Why a soft landing could prove elusive. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Wall Street Journal. I was told by you and CNBC and all the quote smart money that this was the soft landing. Oh, I, th I, th I thought we already landed and it was soft and Jerome Powell saved us on. Oh, oh, now we're now, now, huh? Hmm, soft landing looking a little. I already said it's two flights, right? I joking, you, if you've been a TGO member, which again, I'm going fast because you should, I'm treating you, all the new folks, like you're already current members, right? So this is why it's quick because you got your training and you're already up to speed. But anyway, I said, as the whole narrative was, oh, well, we've already, you know, it's, it's great. And, Jerome did it and we've had a soft landing. I'm like, all right, uh, let's stick with your analogy that we've already had a soft landing. Well, then um, we're, we're, we're like airborne again. This is a separate flight and we're going to crash. Let me just make sure I got filled. Yep. All right. I got filled on that trade. So uh, in at $1.40, out at 60 cents. All right. What's that? 80 cents? 80 times 15 contracts. You made 1200 bucks. Boom. So I told you one of my mission objectives for the week was to pay for your full throttle membership. So if you did a monthly, what's that? 1200 bucks. I can't do public math, man. I used to be able to do it. 1200. If you do monthly divided by 295 equals I paid for four months. Now, if you're waiting for me to pay for an annual, let's wait for maybe the market to turn and we'll shoot another sniper. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, I do not think the... So look at the subheadline. Odds of the Fed reducing inflation without a recession have improved, but hazards loom. Last week, I nailed it. 
And we're going to look at some of our existing trades, right? And we're going to debrief our Amazon bear call spread from last week. That hit max profit. Ladies and gentlemen, um, inflation looks like this. Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Democrats. And of course, they blame that on what? Putin, uh, Ukraine, supply chain, COVID. It was everything but rampant government spending and the Fed printing money. I'm smart. I know they're lying to me. And then inflation's come down a little bit. And then what did it do for the past three months? Boing. It bounced right off the Trump years. <clears throat> so the biggest threat is a reflash. And this is the word. Remember the word for like, not bird. The word was transitory. Joe Biden, Janet Yellen on TV right now, and Jerome Powell said what? Transitory, transitory, transitory. Every de Democrat near a microphone said the words transitory. It's transitory. I'm like, what? what's your definition of transitory? We've had raging inflation for the past year and a half to two years. That's, I, I got to change my definition. They changed the definition of woman, might as well, and recession, might as well change the definition of transitory. So ladies and gentlemen, it's sticky. This week, we have what? The biggest thing on our radar this week is the Fed meeting. Oh, you know what? Hold on. My boy, Jack, as my son started and he's unable to monitor his account, I'm up. He trades 10 contracts. He trades a smaller account. I'm going to get out of Jack's bull put spread. He made 500 bucks. I'll do 30 cents. So he's uh, a business major at See you, baby. So, yes, I am on the Coach Prime bandwagon, but no, I'm not. I didn't just join it. My son goes there. So I'm paying tuition for Coach Prime so, or his salary. So what a great story, though. Even if you hate the guy, to to take a 1-11 and team and now they're 3-0. and I stayed up until 2 in the morning to watch that game the other night. Now, Oregon's coming in USC. I get it. But what a story. What an American story, man. Yeah, 60 Minutes interview last night was was tight. All right. So this week, folks, we have Jerome and the Fed. Now, the Fed funds futures rate says there's like almost a 0, 0.0, Mr. Blutarski's GPA from Animal House, of a interest rate increase this uh, week. But, but I guarantee you Wednesday afternoon in his press conference at 2.30, I guarantee you that dude's going to bring some heat. I guarantee you. And the market ain't going to like it. We're going to like it because we have some bearish trades on. So, folks, if you're, if you're not, and again, I'm talking past a lot of you because you're not current members, back here, ladies and gentlemen, he did a tactical pause. If you don't follow this stuff, I'm going to teach you to follow this. Raging inflation, and the market kept saying, no, no, dude, you, you got to be done. Stop raising interest rates or at least take a break. You know what happened? He took a break. But during the press conference, he's like, inflation is still raging, so we're probably going to keep having to keep raise rates. Thank God I wasn't in the, well, the first reporter to ask the question, ask the whiz question. Um, if you're going to have to keep raising rates, why didn't you do it at this one, dude? Well, the square root of the derivative of inflation minus my bullshit uh, moving my hands around, it made... I think I'm a relatively smart guy. I listened to his answer. I'm like, I, I don't understand a word he said. It was bullshit. They're like, we kind of just wanted to take a pause to show the market that we can take a pause. I, I, I didn't understand it. The same thing is going to happen this week, folks, because somebody, hopefully the first enterprising reporter, is going to be like, hey, man, inflation has ticked up for the past Three months in a, in a row, it doesn't look like you got it beat. And I guarantee he's going to give that a little bit of a tighter answer that says we, we uh, he's going to give his porridge initially, right? It, he's always porridge. Uh, inflation has come down significantly. We're doing, you know, fill in that standard bullshit sentence about how everything's great and it's working. And he's going to put a comma there and go, we got we got work to do. Somebody who's where's Rick? Rick, do me a favor. Google what's the Fed funds futures rate? the probability of a rate hike for the November meeting. So we skip a month. He, he, could, he, he could put some coal in our stocking, folks. So we are going to have an incredibly volatile week. Now, one of the reasons um, that, uh, I, you know, I think he's not going to raise rates, obviously, this week, 
especially because the the futures say the dude ain't doing it. It's a little bit of the tail wagging the dog. When you see this, like the market going, there's no way the Fed's going to raise interest rates. Do you think the Fed doesn't know that, that that's what the market's thinking? They're not going to sit there and go, hey, watch this. Let's just raise interest rates out of the blue and see what the market does. I'd do that shit because I'd be doing my job, but you know that's me. The Fed likes to be what? Transparent. It is all about clear communication, and we want to be very tight. Why also this week would they maybe not raise rates? What else is going on? Me sitting in my, in my bunny slippers yesterday watching the Sunday shows, what? Shut down, shut down, shut down. We have nine, leg- eight, nine, however many legislative days, because they don't work over the weekends, for the government to be funded. Democrats are in their corner, Republicans are in their corner saying the same shit we say every year. Republicans shutting down the government. The military won't get paid. Old people get pushed off cliffs. Ah! Democrats spend like drunken sailors, crack addicts, and Hunter Biden, and blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, either the government shuts down for a couple days, God forbid, or they get some sort of last-minute deal. McCarthy is in a tough spot because his last, uh, uh, what should we call it, with, uh, with Biden, his Freedom Caucus were furious. 87,000 new IRS agents. Get rid of them. Aha, we reached a deal with the Democrats. They removed it down to 80, 85,000 new IRS agents. Aha, well done, Leader McCarthy. So Matt Gates, MTG, and all the other freak shows are furious. So he threw them a little red meat last week with an impeachment inquiry. They ain't, they ain't going to be full over that. Okay, so wait, what are the odds? What's it say? Let me let me look. Thank you for looking. Uh, Two thirds for no hike in uh, in uh, November. Dude, I don't see again. This is and what did I tell you last week for people who weren't here? We got two days in a row. Wednesday was CPI and Thursday was PPI, consumer price and producer price indexes, inflation gauges. They both were high they came in hot and what happened i sat here and i'm like that's why i didn't get out of my amazon bear call spread folks let's let's have an obama teachable moment here because i said what the market not reacting right now makes no sense inflation is raging the market's going to wake up the market only cares when it cares it cared friday let me let me remind you about Chicago or where I worked and how big institutions work, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? Let me see. I might squeeze a little bit more out for Jack. I'm going to cancel this order because I think we're going to get a, a little bit more of a solid run here. Um, let me remind you how the real world works. I'm coming back from yoga, listening to my mastermind call with people smarter than me. Inflation number comes out. I'm like trying to speed through traffic to get home so I can pound the market into the dirt. What happened? It went up. I'm like, okay, I'll get bullish. I'll I'll shoot some snipers. Don't get me wrong. I always have to remember, folks, I have to remind myself of where I came from. In a firm, like if you watch Billions on Showtime, Axes Back, They're not single seat options traders or fighter pilots, folks. A firm, I remember, hey, meet in the conference room at noon. We're ordering lunch in so we can talk about what the Fed happened, folks. We can maneuver. We're a fighter jet. I can come home from yoga and go boom, boom, boom. I trade a smaller account compared to a billion dollar firm. When you're a massive firm, folks, you got to make decisions. They have a CIO, a chief investment officer, don't they? That says, all right, let's kind of make some decisions. So it takes a day or two for for people to kind of wisen up, for the market to go, okay, we need to, um, you know, there's, let, let's get out of this thing, okay? Uh, or let's do this, or uh, it's, you know, it's funny during uh, during the halftime show, what's, what's the judge, Judge Wapner, uh, say? You know, today's investment committee, 
firms have investment committees. At our firm, it was the partners. They got in a room and they're like, hey, man, we got a shit ton of Apple. What should we do with it? So remember that. Obama teachable moment from last week when I sat here two days in a row and I'm like, um, raging inflation, the market ain't going to dig this. I need to remind you all that it takes a little time for the big folks to digest and to decide. They don't sit here with their E-Trade platform like me and go, I'm going to pound this thing into the dirt. One potato, two potato, whoop, pound it into the dirt. So needed to remind yourself of that and remind you of that. Normally, so for all the new folks in here today, normally this is a solo Amazon brief. Monday at 10 a.m. is solo Amazon. That's not part of full throttle, but for full throttle week, I just kind of moved the flight schedule around. So for all the solo Amazon people in here, welcome. Uh, last week, let's debrief this. I sold, <clears throat> excuse me, an Amazon bear call spread, okay? And Amazon had a nice run last week. Excuse me. It had a, a nice run last week, Wiz. Let me get this straight. The FT, the Wall Street Journal reported that Amazon's getting sued, going to be sued by the FTC, and they want to break it up. Yeah. And I actually told you that was bullish, but separate conversation, and you can go watch the replay from last week. But we put on, I put on a bear call spread. We sold the 142 and a half calls, and we bought the 143s. Okay. That trade was risking five grand. That's 5% of my model portfolio, the solo Amazon model portfolio, to potentially make 2,600 bucks. What did it make? 2,600 bucks. It expired for max profit. And also the short calls that I sold also expired for max profit. Let's go look at Amazon. So let's just look at five days. So, or 10 days. So last week, where's last Monday? Right around here. So I sold that one, let me drop a line up here, 142 and a half, like right here. So Wednesday, it went through my short strike. There's Thursday. Now, don't get me wrong. I sat here looking at it going, first of all, it's got a day left. In the world, and we're in a weekly options brief, technically for full throttle, in the world of weekly options, a day is a lifetime. Understand this. I use the analogy, let me pull up a, a month real quick. I use the analogy that a weekly option is like a monthly option, like this. Monday is week one. Tuesday is week two. We, you get it? It's a weekly option is like, so a day in the land of weekly options is a lifetime. So Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, as the bear call spread was looking red, I sat there and I'm like, I'm telling, and I posted this and we talked about this. I said, man, this market is not going to celebrate raging inflation. Hold what you got. Now, some of you ejected, some of you rolled, some of you, you do what you do in your, uh, in your jet. I'm just telling you my my rationale. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hold what I got. So let's and then obviously Friday came and boom, the market cared about raging inflation. A couple lessons to take from this. The first thing is this. <clears throat> whenever we're going to look at some trades in a couple seconds here and get tactical, but whenever you look at the max potential loss in a trade, you're a pilot. You're a single seat options trader you have to put a check mark next to that that says i signed for the jet man i know the max potential loss in this trade and i'm okay with it not okay like yay but i i understand that if that happens it's gonna suck but it's not going to kill me you not me you need to because i already have mine you have to come up with your own sop Standard operating procedure. What's the max potential loss in each individual trade you are comfortable with? Okay. It needs to be an amount of money where you look at it and go, I'm, I'm not going to get destroyed, but that'll suck a little bit. That's where I am with my Amazon last week. So as Wednesday, Thursday went by and it's like, all right. I stuck with the commit criteria. 
raging inflation the market will care about. Boom. Friday happened and the market. And it's funny because as the, the two days with the inflation numbers went by, I, I think even Fox or Bloomberg was kind of like, wow, the market doesn't seem to care about these really bad inflation numbers this week. And I remember going, yet, yet. And then Friday, Friday happened. Then the financial media is like, oh, my God, raging inflation. I'm like, yeah, exactly where you've been. So any questions or concerns about that? Let's move on. So last, so we have an existing Target bear call spread. Okay. So we have a 132, 133 bear call spread on Target. All right. And it expires next, uh, next Friday. All right. Let's take a look at how this one is doing. It's the 132, 133, risking 54 to make 21. Let's bring up Target. I love that this thing's getting destroyed. Couldn't happen to a better company. Let's go. So look at this. There's all their stupidity. We got into a range here where we could, and uh, this week maybe I'll talk to you about a tactic called an iron condor where you can make money if it stays in a range. Iron condors are great until they're not when it breaks out of a range, which it has. Look at this, down 3% today, folks. Close this trade. What was it? The Wow, another trade looked absolutely crushing it. What were the strikes again? 132, 133. I think this is in the weekly options portfolio. I have the primary up right. Oh, it's not even. One th look at this, the 132, 133 bear call spread. <laughs> Let's just go up to it. It's at a penny. You are at a 98% max profit right now. You have made $2,000 in this trade. Close it for a penny. Go on, take the money and run. So this is here's another Obama teachable moment. Do not hold on to this trade to, to make the final 100 bucks in a week. First of all, you're eating up margin because E-Trade or whoever you trade with is margining you, even though you're showing a $2,000 profit in this trade, you are, there's margin if you're trading on margin. So close it. Here's the other reason you close it. What if you're sitting here like, Wiz, there's $100 left of profit in that trade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold out for next Friday. I guarantee you next Friday at 8 a.m. before the market opens, breaking news, Jesus uh, has returned and he announced he's the CEO of Target. The stock is up a billion dollars pre-market trading, and you turned a 95% winning trade into a 100% loser. I guarantee you that can happen. Jesus is going to return. But do you understand me? So we placed that trade, what was like a week ago, two weeks ago? When was this trade brief? Oh, August 29th. Look at this. August 29th primary brief, the Target bear call spread. September, October, shit show inbound. I love it. Due to bearish call spread, sniper. And I should have done that as the market turned, but I've been on a rant. So we had a we had a confirmed turn up here. So we shot a sniper, a bull put spread down here that we already closed for 50% profit. And we and we could have put a sniper up here. But let me finish. I'll keep an eye on it, but I don't want to get too too drawn with the snipers here. Is let me finish this stuff. The tech trade is showing cracks. Higher rates for longer spell more trouble. Wait, Wiz, I thought you just told me that everybody said for the everything's great. We had a soft landing and everything's awesome. No, I didn't tell you that. I told you the exact opposite, and we're printing money. The tech trade is showing signs of cracks. As this tech rally happened, what did I tell you? It's going to end. No, this time it's different. You're right. For the first time in 30 years of trading, the tech trade will not end. It'll just keep having a rip. Your no, of course not. It's physically impossible, folks. So we got this going on. So now that you're starting to hear this stuff, it means it's actually worse. Okay. Tech unraveling. Whoops. Tech unraveling cheap hedges and oil chasing. It is absolutely time right now to get on some cheap hedges, especially because, well, the VIX is probably seeing a little bit of a pop today. Let's go to VIX. 4% pop in volatility. Volatility is starting to come alive, folks. OK, 
Okay. Hedging is cheap right now. To get some insurance on for the September, October shit show, I guarantee you is cheap. If we have some time, we'll look at some. We are close to 100 days without the S&P 500 selling off a percent and a half or more. That is extremely rare. We are due. Um, tech and utilities are starting to get shorted pretty good. Hedge funds are starting to sell tech. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not make money in a hedge fund. I ran the bonus committee in Chicago. I don't pay you a bonus on open trades. Hey, Wiz, look at my portfolio. I have a lot of great open tech names. So I pay you a bonus based on how much money you've brought in. It ain't a profit until when you close the position. So tech hedge funds are starting to slowly. And remember, folks, trading's a form of combat. With these tech hedge funds, or you don't announce your selling. You announce your buying right after you do it. Buy a shitload of Amazon. All right, we did. Hey, hey, I'm at cocktail hour with all my buddies. I bought a ton of Amazon. Oh, man, Wiz bought Amazon. I'm going to buy some. Yeah, thanks. Helping me the price go up. Then what do you do? Sell all of our Amazon. All right, we're out of it. <laughs> I just dumped all my Amazon. You get it? So hedge funds are loud walking in the door, and then they slowly look around and make their Irish exit. And what happens? Retail traders get left. Wait, where'd everybody go? Oh, that's right. You're going to get destroyed. Uh, to, 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 I love the S&P 500 with AI taken out. Look at the S&P 500 without AI in it. With AI in it, it's obscene. NVIDIA and all those type of names, the, 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 the air is coming out of the, the AI uh, bubble, folks. Trust me. Uh, ba 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 ba. And then I think they were talking about some uh, VIX stuff down here. All right, what else do I have to cover real quick? And then let's uh, get tactical. This article, folks, was great. It's me for the past six months telling you all this stuff, but it's all in one place here. An uncertain outlook from leading indicators. You look at a lot of the macro indicators, folks, like raging inflation last week indicators. What's going on? Housing, uh, consumer goods, consumer dis all sorts. Did you see, I, I covered this last month, for the first time ever in the history of this planet in the United States, $1 trillion in credit card debt. I reported last month that the credit agencies, everybody's credit ratings are getting destroyed because first of all, we're a trillion dollar credit card debt and people are like, you know what, I'm just not gonna pay my credit card bill anymore, super. Consumer confidence is right at recessionary levels. Consumers aren't buying big ticket stuff. They're barely buying gas and food. Credit cards already talked about maxed out. Banks, they ain't lending, folks. Interest rates are at 20, 22 year highs. Thank God I refinanced my home a couple of years ago. I look, I I look at emails now, like, hey, refinance your home. I'm like, oh, let me look. I'm like, whoa, holy crap. What are you, insane? Corporate bonds reaching maturity. Manufacturing sucks. We got Auto strikes, cascading crises could tip the balance in a slowing global economy. Anyway, folks, and then number 10, which should be number one, inflation is sticky. They're not done. I can't wait. I'm glad we're doing full throttle this week because Wednesday afternoon, the press conference, holy crap. I love trading his press conferences, man, because like every sentence, it's you, you have an opportunity to, to shoot stuff. All right, anything else? And then we're going to get tactical. Oh, this is from last week. U.S. inflation accelerated. Gas. The Saudis and the Russians out of the blue. Hey, we're going to cut production. More Bidenomics. U.S. incomes fall for a third straight year. Yay. I thought the economy was great, according to Joe and Kamala. Unbelievable. Chamath. Incomes have fallen every year in the Biden presidency. The medium income, I'm not going to get into this, but folks, things are bad. It's not good out there. Uh, U.S. contacts oil producers. To do what? You booted us out of Alaska in the Permian Basin, and we can't drill anywhere in the United States. Why are you reaching out to us, Joe Biden? Getting cold feet, rising home contract cancellations hit 10-month high as affordability crisis worsens 
Wow. Unbelievable. What's this finally? And then, oh, some a little bit of Amazon uh, stuff. <laughs> Investors have been concerned there are no more worlds left for Amazon to conquer. Fear no more. Great article about Amazon going into a ton of other areas. What do we call Amazon here at Top Gun Options? Trading the Death Star. We are trading the Death Star. It's their supply chain, Prime, uh, and and going into health care. I told you what two stocks to short years ago, Walgreens and CVS. They're going to be out of business. They got all their shit locked up. You can't even go buy hair gel. Why would you leave your house to go to a Walgreens or a CVS when you can order on Amazon? It'll be here in an hour. You're going to have a drone ring your doorbell, scan your face, and drop your prescription in your hand. Done. Amazon is the Death Star. Uh, oh, and this was funny over the weekend, sitting on the couch, watching football yesterday. NFTs? Add that to the list of things that Wiz nailed on day one. What a stupid thing. I, I paid $2.5 million for a JPEG of an ape. Okay. I have a magic rock in my pocket and some pixie dust. What a stupid, uh, people are dumb. Okay, now let's get tactical and trade. We already fired a sniper that made 1200 bucks, but let's get a little bit more tactical. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't make money off the left side of a chart. We make money off the right side of the chart in the white space here. Let's go tactical end of the month. Speaker McCarthy didn't sound, I mean, he sounded obviously like, we don't want to shut down. We want, we want to fund the government. We want to, you know, blah, 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 blah. You got the Freedom Caucus that is full of piss and vinegar, and they want to shut the government down. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have existing trades on that are called trades, right? Trades. What, what do you want with a trade? You want it to make money. What's a hedge? You don't necessarily want to lose money, but. Oh, all right. Well, Jack got filled on his uh, bull put spread finally. So nice. Um, we let's go back to the model portfolio here. And we have existing trades. Trade makes money. Hedge protects your uh, your other positions in case the market goes down. So a trade that acts to protect your portfolio, I squeeze those two words together and it is called a trege. Look at this, hey, let me go with this. Let me move it up to here. Look at this, 475% gain so far in this trade. Let me analyze it and kind of break down what it is for you. Well, you know what, let me show you the chart first and I'll build this. If you think, all right, Wiz, between now and the end of the month, we're, it, you know, Post, we're going to get a deal, folks. No matter how much I would love the government to stay shut down, uh, you know, it, it has to open and we'll get a, a relief rally, it's called. So, but I ain't talked about that one right now. We are talking about if you think something's going to go down, whiz between now and no, September 30th, they're going to take us to the brink. Market's going to pull back a little bit. I don't think we're going to. The first couple times of government shutdowns under Barack Hussein Obama, with uh, Paul Ryan, we hadn't done that before. We had always gotten close and everybody thought like at midnight, if the government shut down, everybody died, right? Like Y2K, it didn't happen. So under Obama and, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Paul Ryan, the first couple of times, people were like, oh my God, and, and it did. The VIX would explode and the market imploded. Like how can our government shut down? Our AAA rated bonds are, aren't worth the paper they're written on. We're all gonna die. Now, I'm not going to say I'm not going to the market ain't going to go up and rally because the government's shutting down because folks, most, you know, if you read the perspective of mutual funds or some hedge funds, we only invest in government, you know, they have formal stuff. Like if something changes, like the government is going to shut down, they have to hedge. There's SOP, man. These big, I've been there. I help write this type of stuff. That's why it's a knee jerk reaction that happens is because formally things happen at least on paper, and the market has to, it does respond. So enough of my commit criteria. And by the way, we're kind of going through a trade plan right now. <laughs> Step one, strategic mindset, bearish tactically, okay? Uh, target, S&P 500, SPX, commit criteria, I just gave it to you. Now we're on step four of our trade. Let's put a roof on the market. 
I don't think the market's going to pop between now and the end of the month. I think October 1st or whenever we get a deal, we do. But I'm talking about here. So if you don't think the market's going to go up, you also believe what? It's either going to stay level or go down. So technically, that's two trades. One trade is what I call the roof up here. The market, the market ain't going to go up. That's a trade. And then down here, the market ain't necessarily going to go down. That's another trade. So that's technically two trades. Okay. Now, I, maybe we'll talk more about that tomorrow. I actually want to do one for this week. Let's just, let me hedge my hedge. I can be completely wrong. Jerome Powell at his press conference, 2.30 Wednesday afternoon, which we'll be watching, could be inflation's beat. It, it just went up for the past three months. Now <laughs> We've destroyed it and everything's great. The market will have a rip your face off rally. I have to sit here and brief you and say these are all possibilities. Absolute possibility. Is it probable? No. He will give a porridge speech initially. We doing some good work or we're blah, blah, blah. However, inflation remains. I think he has used that word. It's funny hearing that dude say that. I think he has said the word sticky. Inflation remains sticky and we might have more work to do. The market will not like the more work to do thing. And I think we get a pretty significant pullback this week. I don't think we rally. I already told you we could if he says everything's great and we won inflation. I'm going to tell you, folks, the Federal Reserve has CNBC and Fox on. The Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, I guarantee you, in his town car from his home to the Federal Reserve each day is reading the Wall Street Journal. It's the paper of record. So I guarantee you the Fed knows that it's got a little bit of room to bring some heat, especially after what? This. All right, I'm going back to my commit criteria. I don't need to do that. Let's go tactical employment. Instead of going out to the end of the month, let's, let's focus on, I'm going to do a weekly trade since we're in weekly options. And I told you I wanted to help pay for your full throttle membership for, the, for an annual membership. And I already gave you 1200 bucks this morning. Let's go out to Friday. If you're new to options and, and you're barely hanging on, don't worry about it. That's why you take full throttle training. But I'm going to go out to Friday, which is September 22nd. September 22nd. I'm going to click on that expiration. Okay. Where do I think the market is going to be trading by Friday? The S&P 500 specifically. Well, I'm not going to guess. I mean, I can kind of look at a chart. Let's just go bring up, I don't know, a three-month chart. That doesn't do anything for me. Why don't I use the options market? Why don't I go look at price? You ready for this blinding piece of brilliance? Price is price. Let's take a look at what is called the at-the-money straddle. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Let's just go check this out. What are we at right now? Right around 4450 on the S&P 500. Let's go down to the 4450 strike. Puts at the money puts are 22 and a half bucks. At the money calls are 20 what's that? 28? Yeah. What's that about? If you add both those together, it's around 50 bucks, right? And old me could do mental math. New me hits straddle goes to Friday, September 22nd, and we sell it. What did I say about 50 bucks? I'm pretty damn good. It's literally 5160. What does this mean? The options market is pricing in a move of 51 bucks to the upside. Oops, let me zoom it out here. I call this the Elizabeth Warren TP, right? You see this green? The options market is saying, with a pretty good degree of probability, 64%, that the S&P 500 is going to stay between 4501 and, you know, uh, uh, below 4501 and above 4398. Can we just round up? Look at this. We're at 4450 right now. The at the money straddle is 50 bucks 
to the right and 50 bucks to the left. I love this. We're right in the middle. <laughs> this is awesome. So you know what we're actually going to do? Check this out. We are going to look. You can put up. Let's have the ceiling. The ceiling is right here. 4500 bucks is the ceiling. And this ain't me. This is current at the money pricing in these options. This is the market right now. The market's telling me, Wiz, we in the market right now, buying and selling stuff, think the, the S&P is going to stay below 45 and above 44. I also call this, you know, speaking of Colorado football, call these the uprights, right? As uh, the football can go anywhere in between these uprights as long as it goes through it. Everybody give me a vertical head nod that you understand that. Yeah. Why don't we put a couple trades on that reflect that? Let's put on the right upright, the roof. The market is telling me we don't think the market, we are going to be above 4,500 by Friday. Okay. $1.25-ish, $1.20. Let's go $1.25. 15 contracts, 15 contracts. Let me brief this trade really quick. This is called a bear call spread. You're going to get an hour to an hour and a half lecture on this when you become a full throttle member. I'm going to rip through this. Why do I rip through it? Because that's what the training's for. Dem I told you last night at Topkin Options, we demo in the training. Now I'm doing, so I'm going to be quick. Go. I'm going to sell 15 of Friday's 4,500 calls. That's me saying the S&P 500 ain't going to be above 4,500 by Friday. What if I'm wrong and it just has this rip your face off rally? Well, then I'm going to buy some upside calls. I'm bearish to neutral on the S&P 500. I'm using calls and it's a spread. This is a tactic called a bear call spread. It's also called a credit spread. I'm bringing in $2,000 to do this trade. Now, let's talk about mid-course guidance. Double the credit that I take in. If I take in a credit of $1.30, I'd maybe eject out of this trade and close it, not to take the max loss at 260. Political science math. I double the credit I take in. 260. I I would get out of this trade maybe if it goes up to 260. Right now, I take a screenshot of this trade because I'm going to send out an email and a text alert. Okay. Let me grab a screenshot, file, save as. And I add this to the replay page, SPX, what's today's date, 918, boom. Now, as soon as I click on this analyze, the first place your eyes go is to max potential loss. Do not ever look up here at max profit first. Don't do it. Max potential loss is $5,500 in this trade. Now, in a $100,000 model account, this is my SOP. I don't want to risk more than 5% or five grand ish on any one trade. That's me. Okay. If you're in a $50,000 account, this would be a 10% uh, risk. Folks, that is based on 15 contracts. You don't want to risk 5,500 bucks. You don't do 15 contracts. You want to risk 10 grand. You do 30 contracts. You want to risk two grand. You do, I don't know, five, six contracts. I can't tell you what to do. You are the pilot in command of your own portfolio, okay? Now, once you acknowledge this and you put a check mark here and go, I'm going to manage. I'm not going to take that max loss, but it's not going to kill me. Now you can look at the max potential profit and go, all right, 78% probability of making $2,000 this week, okay? Now, in a bear call spread, just a, a quick review, we make money three out of four ways, okay? Three out of four ways I'm making two grand this week. There's the current price of SPX. How do we make money? SPX goes down, we make money. SPX stays where it is. Doesn't do anything this week. It just hovers. We make money. Ladies and gentlemen, SPX can even go up a little bit to here as long as it stays below our break even of 4501. What's the one way out of four we lose money? It has a rip your face off rally through 4,500. And you fell and hit your head and you didn't eject out of it, which would be stupid. Okay. So I love this trade. Bear call spread. I'm going to grab a screenshot of this as well to send out in the email alert and to post it on the replay page. Remember, if you're new to this, 
you have a little camera on the top of your window that you're looking at me in, you can take a little screenshot. So you don't have to wait for the email, the text alert, or the replay page. So I'm going to fire that trade. So it takes a while for me at the end of the brief to send out a text and email alert. This is why you want to be in the hunters, because right now in the hunters, you just got this trade. If you're not in the hunters, it's going to take once the brief's over with, I'm going to sit here, get a cup of coffee and send out the text and email alert. Obviously, this is the max afterburner group. This is the, I was going to say more elite, but it's the, it's the max afterburner. So they get these two. Okay. Uh, all right. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the roof. Raise the roof. The at the money straddle also said what? The bottom, the basement for this week is 45, four, oh, I'm sorry, 4,400. So let's go underneath. Let's go down to Friday, go down to 4,400. You sell the 4,400 put, that's no kidding, the floor, and then you buy underneath that the 4,395 put. Okay. Now, since the SPX went up a little bit, as I've been briefing this, we let's go up five bucks. I might even have to go up to 10 here. Let's do this one. Yeah. 15 and 15. Because as I as we were talking about that bear call spread, the SPX has been going up and obviously running away from that 4,400. So as we roll over here, we're going to get a little bit more premium in these strikes. So let me just brief it real quick. Let's try, let's do like $1.20 down here on the bottom too. Sell 15 of Friday's 4,415 put. This is our basement. I'm telling you that SPX is going to run around the field. It's just not going to run outside of these two spreads. I'm going to buy the 4410 to the downside. $1.20, double the credit we take in. You would direct maybe at 240. It was $1.30 in the other spread, which is 260, maybe eject. $1.10, $1.20 here, you just double it is also the maybe eject. Okay. Let me put the chart up in the background so you can see what I'm looking at on my other screen here. Okay. Whoa. What are we doing here? So as the SPX has been going up here, this trade's running away from us a little bit. That's why I, I went up with the strikes a little bit here. I like this. I'm, let's stick with the one I was doing here. 1510. Again, max potential loss you look at first. 57. I'm okay with that to make 18. 77% probability. Let me, I forgot to grab my screenshots. And it's, well, we're starting to get on a, uh, on a horse and gallop here. We might have to go up five bucks. Getting a little bit of a run here. Let's go up five bucks. Let's go up to 2015. Get screenshot. So technically, this tactic, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, is called an iron condor. It's two individual trades, technically, but if you group them together, that's the name. SPX, bull put spread. This tactic is called a bull put spread, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, you're going to get an hour, hour and a half training on the bull put spread. It's called a credit spread. Risk in 55 to make two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know what an iron condor is, and you might be sitting here going, wait, this guy was risking five grand in one spread and five in another, that's 10 total, you'd be wrong because you don't know what you're doing. We're actually risking about 3,500 bucks total because you can't lose on both those trades, folks. Think about it. The SPX can't explode on Friday and simultaneously implode. It can't split in the middle of the, of the flight and, and hit both your spreads. It's physically impossible. Worst case scenario, the market goes up into one of them or down into one of them. You can't lose on both. Everybody understand that? Vertical head nod. Oh, okay. If you don't understand that, you need full throttle training. That's why we do it. And that's why I go quick in the briefs because you go watch all the training and then we practically apply it in our briefs. Again, 
the hunters, if you do the, the monthly or the quarterly, you don't get access to the hunters. You need to do the annual membership for $29.95 to get that trade right away, right now. And then obviously Max Afterburner, we can talk about down the road. A little bit more of an investment and a lot more benefits to this. Okay. All right. So now we have put on a roof and a basement. Okay. Valerie, for whatever reason, I did not get the trade you just sent out. I do not. I do have SDS, but I haven't gotten anything today. Valerie, make sure you log out and log back in or you hit refresh. Okay. This is my instructor panel. Let me just show everybody what it looks like on your side. Underneath memberships, you go to Hunter's SDIS. Sometimes, Valerie, just log out of the site and back in. It just kind of clears clear stuff but this is what it looks like for you all <clears throat> this is what the hunters sdis looks like and there's there's both my trades at the bottom there so they they're in there i'm i'm looking at it just as if i'm a customer too so just log out and and log back in real quick okay all right awesome i went a, a little bit over uh because we had to cover some stuff but um that is good. It's called an iron condor, ladies and gentlemen, iron condor. So as long as the SPX stays below 4,500 uh, this week, we're going to make a max profit in that trade of about 3,500 bucks. So with the trades that I just covered here in the weekly options brief, I could potentially by Friday pay for your membership, your annual membership. Everybody give me a vertical head nod that you understand that. Okay. <clears throat> Any questions, concerns? Oh, by the ways, I have to send out a text and email alert now. So obviously this is why you want to be in the hunters because you just got it live. It takes me, I don't know, I'm pretty quick about it, about five minutes to 10 minutes to get that text alert together and to put the screenshots of the trades in there. Okay. So I strongly recommend you do the option that gets you into the hunters. Okay. So let me cover that stuff real quick because people, um, let me answer the questions about how do we join? I didn't ignore you. I was saving it to the end so I can knock out all the content. Okay. Nobody leaves one of these briefs with a question mark over their head. So I'll, I'll give you that uh, right now. <clears throat> Bevan. <clears throat> I love that question, Bevan. Yeah, le let me just give you the link right now, and then I'll let me answer questions first because that's my priority, and then uh, I'll, I'll break down what the different options are because Bevan is going to get a gold star for asking this question that he just asked. But let me give you the link so you can start getting these now. Folks, because my phone has been buzzing throughout this brief, which means people are joining. I will close the door at 50, I guarantee you. Oh yeah. So, all right. So, to, so you ready for this? Listen to Bevan's question. So, um, Bevan said, "Is there any concern with this trade with the Fed's announcement on Wednesday?" So, you ready? F uh, and let me answer Kenneth's question next or first because i already did it kenneth I, I don't know when you showed up but i debriefed the amazon trade for about 10 minutes uh it hit a max profit so make uh, kenneth make sure you watch the replay because i covered amazon significantly uh and what my mindset was the amazon trade hit max profit last week so i i covered this in this brief for about 10 to 15 minutes so watch the replay because it was covered now back to bevan's uh point the answer is yes, Bevan. When you look at at the money volatility in these options, that is known. And I'm going to tell you, Bevan, the at the money straddle out the Friday being a hundred dollars wide is pretty. You could fly a C17 through that at the money straddle. Usually, if this wasn't a normal Fed week, it would probably be about a fifty dollar wide straddle for Friday. That's average. For this Friday, it's a hundred, right? So very good question, but Bevan, it's it's already baked in here. It's already baked in here. That's a very, 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 very good question. Okay. So, uh, Catherine, how do you get the at the money straddle? So you look at what the current stock 
ETF or price is or index price. We're close to 4450. Okay. So we look down here and what's close to 4450? 4450. You click on it. And at least on E Trade, you just scroll down the straddle. You sell it and you make sure you go to Friday, which was September 22nd. You learn all this stuff in full throttle, folks. So that's the at the money straddle for Friday. It's 5150. So you double that. So technically it's 5150 to the right and it's 5150 to the left. So it's a hundred and it's a hundred and two dollars, a hundred and three dollars total. But then you went to forty five hundred. Yeah, I did. The the right side of the trade, the roof is forty five hundred. The bottom side of the trade is 4,400. We're right down the, so 4,400 there, 40, it's perfectly right down the middle. Yeah. I actually went a little north of 4,400 because there wasn't a lot of premium because the market's been rallying as we we talked talked about. Valerie, I, I don't know. Nobody else is reporting any issues uh, with, with the hunters. There's people in here and I'd uh, maybe shut down and, and restart. There's people in here talking, trading and everything. So you're, you're the first one saying there's anything wrong with the, uh, the hunters today. It looks, looks good to me. Okay. Real quick. Uh, let's ripple through this. Uh, like I said, people are buying. We made 1200 bucks today in this live trade brief. Men lie. Trades don't. You saw it. I did it. Um, that's why I tell you to log in early too, because I shot that before we started, but I shot it live. If you were here early, you saw that trade and you made 1200 bucks, uh, which is awesome. Okay. So, um, I'm not going to go through all this stuff. I'm not going to beat a dead horse. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll take a look at it, Mike. Uh, I will take a look, uh, da, 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 da. real quick, you know, again, I'm not going to go through all these case studies. You, you guys can go look at trust pilot and all our stuff, but the primary brief add 1200 bucks to that, uh, is up 268. weekly options is 144. AR is 149. Solo Amazon is crushing it as well. We're over 600 grand in profitable trades. Everything's documented at the end of each quarter. I upload all the trades to the homepage so you can see, uh, everything I did. Uh, including my personal accounts. Obviously, if you were with me for the past 12 years, you got about 6 million bucks. That's pretty, that's pretty tight, man. I, and uh, about two and a half million in a couple months during the COVID crash. It was obscene. I, I was about to say, I hope that happens again. Of course, I don't ha hope that happens again. I hope we have another market crash like that, but not people getting hurt. Um, you know, we, I talked about this last night. What would you do with six million bucks? You guys know what I do. I throw it over the fence to, uh, to try and save and change the lives of veterans, first responders. I told you, you need training. You need your full throttle training. You need the eight sessions. If I went through the bear call spread and the bull put spread fast, it's because I'm acting like you're already a full throttle member and you already took the training and you know what you're doing. So training, it's solid. Uh, a plan, I rippled through a trade plan today. I didn't formally, hey, say I'm at each individual step. I did at the beginning, but I trade every day with a plan. You have it over here in the handout section over here on your control panel. Download it. And you need a, to... If you're trained and you have a good plan, you need to practically apply it. How did you practically apply it today? In a live trade brief. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Training, trade plan, and a live trade brief. I've been you. <laughs> I've, I know what a call option is now. Now what do I do? Now what? I was you. I built Topkin options for me, <laughs> right? So uh, I know exactly what you need to be a successful trader. Access to our primary uh, weekly options and accelerate retirement briefs. It's about six grand. Technically, if you value stack it, you also get access to the hunters. We just talked about the hunters. S D I S um, is awesome. It's a, it's the live investment club, man. Don't worry about it. 80% of our traders work. You don't have to attend live. Soon as I get done this, the, the end of the brief here, the sales pitch, I'm going to send out a text and email alert, okay? Uh, and obviously, in about, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, I'll post the replay. It takes about that long for the uh, recording to render. Uh, like I said, please be early. I'm putting the ladder down. I'm showing you what I'm doing bef before I, uh, you know, get airborne in a live trade brief. Get, get here a little bit early, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Uh, this guy 
you know, ha has been watching replays for three years. You don't need to be here live. Uh, I send out time sensitive text alerts and email alerts. OK, uh, and obviously this is the heart of everything, man. Don't get in here and start firing trades, man, if you don't know what you're doing. I built these full throttle training sessions. We just got done the most recent batch. These are brand new and current, and they're awesome from last week. So here's what you're going to get today. If you do the annual or the hunters monthly, you get access to the hunters. For the $2.95 a month, you don't. Um, three live skill-based uh, trade briefs, you get the uh, the – uh, the training sessions, you get everything, folks. The manuals, this is the best way to go. Go.topkinoptions.com slash FT dash hunters. Okay. Only 50 because I don't want a zoo. I'm not that place that it's cheap and we have a million people in here. That sucks. People burn out. People, people shouldn't be here. We go 50 and, and shut the door. Okay. Here's the best deal. Instead of spending fifty nine eighty seven or six grand, if you'll allow me to round up, I'll give you a fifty percent discount if you do an annual membership. You do an annual membership, man. It's a fifty percent discount. I already made you twelve hundred bucks today, and by Friday, add another thirty five hundred bucks on there. Potentially with two trades that I've covered today, that's potentially six grand. You're welcome. That would be two years of your th full throttle membership. Okay, so. Wiz, I want the full throttle training. I want the live trade briefs and I want access to the hunters for a little bit. I want to test you out. Okay, great. Try me. It's four ninety seven a month. Okay, that's how we get to the six grand, what it usually is membership, four ninety seven times, you know, twelve months. As a businessman, staying here for twelve months, I'd love it. That's not me. I'm a good dude. Do this for a couple months and then upgrade. Call call me in a couple months, like, all right, you're not a complete idiot. Uh, I'm going to upgrade to save money. So $4.97 a month if you want to test full throttle and test the investment club. All right. The final option, the least expensive, just try us for a couple months at $2.95. You do not get access to the hunters for this. It's You're not paying for it, man. So you're not getting access to it. You just This is for people who are kicking the tires. $295, bucks, folks. That's a super nice bottle of wine. You're going to get access to five weeks of this. And we're having a blast. Do not trade this market solo, folks. With the Fed meeting coming up, the government shutdown, I, I know what I'm doing, man. I just showed you my personal portfolio outperforming as the market goes down. I'm going to teach you how to make money as other people panic. Okay? This is the tire kicking. Uh, this is the tire kicking up. But again, I'll give you an annual 50% discount on the annual membership, the $29.95. Trading and combat, man, they seem a little complex. How did I battle complexity today? With simplicity. Was this really hard? Even if you didn't know options too, too well, you probably sat here like, all right, I, I can probably follow along with this. If that's how you feel, welcome aboard. I guarantee you, you're going to find a home here. Superior training, risk management, discipline. Discipline. I debriefed the Amazon trade last week. I stayed disciplined to my commit criteria. Raging inflation two days in a row, the market's going to care. Friday, the market cared and imploded. Okay. And this ain't too hard, folks. It is pretty damn easy uh, to follow. Okay. And we have a lot of fun here. We are a tight knit squadron. We're at your decision range. I guarantee you, based on how my phone's buzzing, there's probably about 20 memberships gone. Uh, and we will close the door at 50. All right, let me uh, scroll up here and start answering some questions. Tina, Wiz, you're the best investment I've ever made. Thank you. Awesome. All right, I'll, I'll take a look at the hunters, guys. Uh, I will, as soon as I get off here, I will get on with my techie. Thank you for the $1,200. You are welcome. Re uh, Rebecca, you do not... I don't think you're a current member, so you're welcome for the 1200 bucks. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you the opt-in page. Yes, that tactic, this is the replay page. So let me give you the replay page. If For the people who came in late, um, so whoever was asking about Amazon, I covered it. So watch the replay. Uh, that's the replay page. This brief will be up here shortly. And then obviously this is this is where you need to go. This is the best deal. This is the tire kicker if you want access to the hunters and full throttle. And then this is the pure tire kicker, no access to the hunters. Okay. Do this. I'd say 
80, 90 percent of our members are full throttle annual members. And then, I mean, people do come in here and kick the tires for four or five months in here to make sure I'm not an idiot. And then, uh, you know, do it. Twelve hundred bucks, folks, in the bull put spread that I fired this morning uh, is two months, two and a half months of hunters I paid for. And the target bear call spread, the target bear call spread made what? 20, 2,400 bucks. I forgot that one. Well, that wasn't today, obviously, but if you made that target bear call spread with us, you'd be printing money. Mike TGO come for the trades, stay for the rants. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, uh, I'll go control alt delete on the, um, on the hunters right now. So, I'm going to cut you guys out right now because I'm going to send a text alert because you don't have to sit here and watch me click weekly options, insert, paste, copy. So this should show you that you need to join something that is live. The Hunters is live. If you do the $2.95 a month, you're, you're, getting, you're going to get a text alert and an email. You're not going to get it right now if you're not a member. These texts aren't cheap, so I'm not, I don't send them out to the free people. So. You're not paying to be here this week, so there you go. But if you're a current member, you're going to get a text and an email uh, in about five minutes from me. So, all right, good stuff. So weekly options brief is down. We are complete. We have the primary brief tomorrow, a little full throttle training tomorrow night. And then Wednesday is AR accelerated retirement. I'll give you a full deep dive uh, on the psychedelic space and the healing space, okay? Do not be the 51st person to try and buy a full throttle membership because you will not get it. We will close at 50 new members and we had seven, four last night, three this morning and my phone's buzzing. So I guarantee you these slots are going quickly. Okay. Like I said, I'll get the replay posted here shortly and uh, I'm going to send out a text and email alert right now to current members. And then I'm going to sit here for a little bit more and shoot some snipers with our members in the Hunters and Max Afterburner. Because this is, we're looking to make a move here on the S&P 500. All right, guys. Very passionate about what I do. I love doing this stuff. I love having fun. Hopefully you had fun today. If you feel like you're drinking from a fire hose, good. You're supposed to. Once you get your membership, man, underneath memberships, you go over here to full throttle and you start watching. Bull put spreads calls puts you go through your training here folks and you get up to speed okay we good any other smart remarks yeah i'll go hit control alt delete on the um control alt delete on uh the uh hunters what I, that was a biden moment and whiz was out of town where do i sign up for the full throttle training tonight there is no full throttle training tonight I'm doing a sample full throttle training tomorrow night. But if, and you're a current member, all the full throttle training is underneath memberships, full throttle. Full throttle is done. We did full throttle the past two weeks and they're all posted on here. The full throttle training one more time tomorrow night is for all these free people that are in here. I'm going to show them what full throttle is all about, but full throttle is done and it's in the, uh, it's in the membership thing. All right, I got to go. Have a great rest of your day. You're welcome for your 1200 bucks. <laughs> fights on namaste and basi basi it's going to be a fun week cheers